celebrities. They're just like us. Okay, maybe they're not just like us, but they're human, which means they aren't perfect. Being an actor, musician, or anyone else that's on camera all the time, it means they're gonna be wearing a lot of makeup. They're gonna be under a lot of stress, and they're gonna get acne, or acne, as I like to say in French. Since you guys love part one so much, I am counting down the top 10 celebrities that struggle with acne, part two, here for you on IO. What's gravy, y'all? Welcome back to another IO Top 10. I'm Charlotte Dobre. If you're new here, hey, come here. Come here, give me a hug. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> and if you're a returning subscriber, potato. Hit that like sub and notification bell so you never miss a video and follow the IO team on social media. All right, so before I get into part two of this video, I just want to remind you that not everyone's skin is the same, not all advice is gonna work for you, but generally, a lot of the tips I will share for you will be helpful. Well, let's just jump right in, shall we? Let's jump right in. Well, let's just jump right, okay, I'm done. Starting off our list at number 10, we have Mindy Colling. Mindy's one of my favorite actresses, not just cause she's funny as shit, but because of how real she is. She's not afraid to post photos of her face covered in acne cream with captions like, that zit cream in your 30s life. At least I'm not going on the Tonight Show later today. In her memoir, Why Not Me, Mindy wrote that her treatment is this. I bought this wand, the Tria Acne Clearing Blue Light from my dermatologist's office. At one point, I was spending so much time with the device that I started calling him Wally. -E. <laughs> he looks like a fancy sex toy from Japan. His job is to eliminate acne, causing bacteria deep beneath the skin surface, and I have to press him against my face for 20 minutes every night. I didn't know you could use like blue light for that. I don't think there's a single woman out there that doesn't find Brad Pitt foxy, and if you don't, then damn, okay, you have high standards, I see you. But Brad Pitt has obvious acne scars, probably due to acne that he had when he was a teenager. Don't you hate it when men look so good with acne scars? Like, it's not even fair. It just makes them more like rugged and handsome and like, mm, I'm so hot with my acne scars. For those of you who are suffering from acne scarring, it doesn't have to be there forever, but it is sometimes hard to get rid of unless you're going to a skin specialist. Brad Pitt underwent dermabrasion treatments, and the most effective laser treatment for acne scars is supposedly fractional CO2 laser skin resurfacing, which uses carbon dioxide lasers to make tiny wounds in hard acne scars. It breaks up the tissue, and that starts a self-repair process. Your skin is pretty friggin' amazing. I mean, it's your body's largest organ, and it can repair itself. Correction, it's amazing when it's not making your life a living hell. The treatment also promotes the production of collagen, which makes the skin more soft. And youthful. I eat collagen for breakfast. At number eight, it's Katy Perry. Katy not only battles with acne in adulthood, she also has acne scars. She told Elle magazine that she's self-conscious about it, so sometimes she wears too much makeup to cover up her scars. During her rise to stardom when she was about 23, Katy's acne was the most severe. She believes it was due to the immense stress she was under. She also says that she spent thousands on dermatologists and lasers, but she credits Proactive with clearing up her skin. She is one of their paid spokespeople, but does promote Proactive even when she's not being paid to do so. I still don't like that stuff. It bleaches your skin. Why are you white? Oh, proactive. <laughs> At number seven, Ariana Grande. Ariana has shared that she had acne prone skin during her teen years and sometimes it would get worse if she forgot to wash off her makeup at night. Preach! Can't tell you how many times I've passed out with a full face of makeup and I wake up and I've got a big zit. Ariana does love her makeup and the makeup does take a toll on her skin. Up close pictures show she still has problems with her skin even now. In terms of products, she uses Lancer, also coconut oil that she lathers all over her face and hair, noting that it might not be the best product for everyone. I use coconut oil as well and I find that it works. I use it in the shower to take off my makeup and I rub it all over my face. But I know it's not the best option for everyone. Have you found coconut oil helpful in clearing up your acne? Let me know. Yeah? At number six, Emma Stone. You would never know looking at her now, the woman's skin is gorgeous, gorgeous, like supple, like a baby's bottom. But Emma is another celebrity who tried Accutane, only she couldn't handle it. If you haven't seen part one, Accutane is a very powerful prescription. It's really hard to do a treatment. I did Accutane and yeah, it was like hell for a few months. When Emma was 17, she was put on Accutane because she had hormonal acne, but she could only handle two months. Ever since then, her skin, her mouth, her lips, her eyes are all extremely dry. And uh, yeah, that's true. I, I think I did Accutane like maybe 10 years ago and I still have very dry skin like here. My lips are peeling like quite often. It, it works for like, like years and years after you're finished taking it. After she went off of Accutane, Emma says that she got stress acne and they actually had to airbrush it out of her breakout role in Easy A. <laughs> Pun not intended. Emma still suffers from breakouts every now and again and she says she uses tea tree oil. 
at number 5, Sean Mendez. Sean is open about the fact that he deals with acne on a regular basis, but when a fan asked him about his skin routine, he said this, I'm not lying when I tell you guys that I don't wash my face. I meditate a lot. I think skin is very based on how you're feeling. You can rub dirt on your face. If you're happy, you won't break out. Although meditating to improve your skin is not scientifically proven, <laughs> I'm going to share like a bit of a weird story with you guys. So I had just started my Accutane treatment and I was at a music festival. I was so stressed out from traveling and hiking and sweating and carrying my stuff to my campsite. This place was in the middle of nowhere, okay, so there's no cell phone service or anything and I had to find my friends like in the dark, okay, very stressful. I could feel my chin uh, and, and this part of my face about to break out and this music festival is not a place where you want to have a breakout. It's in the middle of a forest and you can't like wash your face. So instead of going out the first night of the festival, I set up my campsite, laid there, relaxed and meditated. And when I woke up, my skin was clear. Like not not a single breakout. It wasn't like hurting anymore. Like I know that you, you guys know that it like hurts when it's about to break out. It was like completely clear. Not saying that meditating works, but it did work that one time. I'll tell you that. At number four, Rihanna. Breakouts are normal for the Fenty Queen. So normal that she expects them every month. The one or two times she posts on Instagram a year, she's not afraid to post makeup free selfies that show her skin breaking out. When she posted this picture to Instagram, someone commented, let me pop your pimple. To which she responded, let her have her shine, please. Can't her zit have some time in the spotlight too? Equality for all, including zits. Jeez. Anybody else name their zits? <laughs> Rather than be annoyed by pimples, Rihanna just accepts them and has developed a nonchalant attitude toward them. She told the star, I have an ugly day every month. Pimples on my face, I'm fat and in a bad mood. It's more like an ugly week. Wait, is she talking about her period? Oh, I get those too. Sorry, was that TMI? Are we still ignoring the fact that women get periods? Sorry, just shut up now. All right, at number three, we have Cameron Diaz. Cameron revealed in her health guide, The Body Book, that she had acne in her teens and well into her adult years, even after she got her big break. She said, I mean, I had terrible, terrible skin. It was embarrassing and I'd do everything I'd think of to make it go away. I tried to cover it with makeup. I tried to get rid of it with medication, oral, topical, even the harshest prescriptions. Nothing helped for very long and it was really challenging to cover them up for the cameras. All right, Cameron, so what did help then? Eating better. Cameron used to brag about the fact that she ate a cheeseburger and french fries every day. I'm not really sure how the hell she did that with her figure. To be honest, I'm very jealous. But when she approached 30, she ditched the fast food and started cooking for herself. Her acne didn't go away completely, but it was significantly better. Adding, looking back, I realized that I hadn't needed those prescription drugs, those vials of potions and creams. I hadn't needed to be angry about my skin or feel bad about myself. I just needed to listen to my body. Acne was my body's alarm system. It was my way of telling me to stop eating fast food. And that can be true for anything. Maybe it's your body's way of telling you that you're, you know, yeah, you're not eating well, you're not sleeping well, you need to take care of your skin and wash your face. You need to calm down and relax a little bit. At number two, Victoria Beckham. Did you know that Posh Spice was once nicknamed Spotty Spice? Oh, that's brutal. Or Pock Spice. Oh my God, I'm sorry. I had to, I had to. <laughs> Victoria has had acne problems all throughout her life. It's gotten quite a bit better now as she got older, but she still has acne scarring and breakouts, usually attributed to lack of sleep. Tiredness does weaken your immune system, which makes you more susceptible to bacteria and infection, which can cause acne. So definitely make sure that you're getting enough sleep and also having a celebrity dermatologist on speed dial doesn't hurt. Victoria's skin got a lot better also thanks to her dermatologist Dr. Lancer who also treats Kim Kardashian. She sticks to his products, a polish, an exfoliating cleanse and a nourish cream. What is a polish? Anyone know what a polish is? I polish my face with shoe polish. Oh I'll try that. And at number one we have Harry Styles. Harry struggles with acne just like many other guys his age. He admitted that he wears so much spot cream more than his mom. With the case of men, unless wearing makeup is what you're into, most of the time they just have to bear their skin problems for everyone to see. Which must be tough considering, I mean, the cameras are always snapping. Always snapping. For Harry Styles at least. He also does have to wear stage makeup and he's on the road a lot, which means usually eating whatever's around usually junk food. One way to get clear skin as a man is to practice good skin care. Harry applies anti-acne cream every night before bed. Looking at the list of women he's dated, Taylor Swift, Kendall Jenner, Camille Rowe, oh yeah, and his countless preteen fans that are like obsessed with him, Harry's skin hasn't really stopped him from being a heartthrob and neither should yours, you heartthrobs. Get out there and throw up some hearts. <laughs> well guys, there you have it. Did it surprise you to learn that the celebrities on this list had or have skin problems? Let me know in the comments as well as any skin tips you might have. For now, I'm gonna respond to some comments from part one of this series. Blessing said, hating on someone for having acne is like hating on someone for growing up. That hurt. 
that cut me deep. Magotzi said, my worst comment I had in a breakout is, oh shame, you used to be so good looking. <laughs> Did they say that to your face? That's awful. What, it's like this zit is never gonna go away? Just an end, never ending pimple on your face? Just some guy with a mustache said, in the end you have to find your own cure. From a decade of experimentation, you need to find your own cure. It's a natural thing and people should not be harassed for it. It's the ultimate confidence killer. Your self esteem will drop every weird look you get from other people. Yeah, it's gonna take a lot of experimenting to figure out how your skin responds to a lot of things, but at the end of the day, it won't be there forever. So, trust in that. All right, that's it for me. Thanks for watching. Leave a like on this video if you enjoyed it. If you learned something today, subscribe so I can see you guys next time. Hugs. <laughs> <laughs>